What is going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Tizzle and today we're going to be talking about the patch 1.04 that just came out in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Just released today. It is 12 gigabytes on the Xbox One and is 11 gigabytes on the PS4. Both of these are live on those two consoles and the PC update will come out later which is tomorrow on October 31st on Halloween itself and I would expect that to come out between the hours of 1 and 3 Eastern Time PM. Um, so in this video, we're playing the new update game mode that they added. So we're playing gun game. So I hope you, hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay. Um, if you guys want more updates like this, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and let's get into it. So right now I'm reading this all off of charlieintel.com. I'm not going to read everything. I'm just going to read the playlist updates and stuff like that. And I'm going to put the link in the description below. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, there is a lot of information that I cannot put into this one gameplay. So we were going to talk about some of it. So first of all, gun game is super fun. It's always been fun. I'm glad they added it. Hopefully they add one in the chamber and maybe sticks and stones in the future because those are awesome. I miss those a lot. So let's talk about the game modes. Feature playlist. They added gun game until November 6th. No parties allowed. They added mercenary, deathmatch, mosh pit. This means that you cannot join the game with a party. So you can play your deathmatch game modes, kill confirmed, team deathmatch without the worry of a five stack or six stack being on the other team. So you don't have to worry about a whole team of master prestigious being on the other team. So that's gonna be really good for you guys that wanna be a solo queue, don't wanna worry about you know running into those, those spawn trappers and all those weirdos out there that literally don't get off the game. That's for you. Um, they also added chaos domination. So chaos domination is a six V six version of domination. So yes, that sounds, I mean, that is the new norm. 5v5 is the new norm. So 6v6 version of domination. Halftime goes to 150 instead of 100. And then to win the game, you need 300 points instead of 200 points. So it's absolutely chaos. You have six people on each team now, one extra person to kill, game lasts longer. Go ahead and take advantage of that. Get those gameplays. I'll upload a gameplay tonight with some of the guns that got nerfed or buffed and show you guys some of that. And um, yeah, so next up, they have Hardcore TDM, Hardcore Kill Confirmed. So they increased the player count to 6v6, and there's a two specialist limit per team. What does that mean, JT? What does that mean, Tizzle? Blah, 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 blah. Well, in Core TDM, if you didn't know, it's 6v6. In Core Kill Confirmed, it's 6v6. And you can run two specialists of the same kind. So you can use two recons, two purifiers, or fire breaks. You can use two seraphs in those game modes at the same time. In Hardcore, they added these game modes, but they were 5v5 and one specialist per. So they kind of just copied the settings from Core and added it over there. Now, they did nerfs and buffs to everything, guys. Everything. Literally, assault rifles. They messed with the ICR, which got a big nerf. You guys might want to click on that and read it down below. Um, they nerfed the Vapor. For some machine guns, they literally almost fixed all of them slightly. Um extended the all damage ranges on the mx9 and the cordite um they messed with the operator mods on three of them for tactical rifles they buffed the abr big big buff to the abr so you guys want to check that out for sure i'll get a gameplay with the abr later with my diamond camo on it and flex it a little bit um they messed with the swordfish they messed with the paladin outlaw sdm koshka sniper rifles they literally messed with every single sniper rifle including they buffed the damage on the outlaw sniper rifle from 110 to 130 which means I wish they would have did that back, you know, like literally three days ago when I was, or not even that, like four days ago when I was using the outlaw to try to get the gold. That would have helped me so much. Less one or hit markers. All right, on to LMGs. They they messed with the Titan, VKM, and Hades. They've literally messed from this description here, from what I'm seeing in this link, again, posted down in the description below. Literally messed with everything. Everything in the game. They messed with attachments, weapons, only thing I'm not seeing here is the Strife and Mozu. They didn't mess with those. Um, they messed with every specialist. They messed with spawns. They messed with gear. They messed with perks. Um, dead silence is dead silent now. It's There's no little pitter-patter. Um, they messed with score streaks, gameplay, game modes, everything, guys. You might want to go check that out. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Um, again, posting this link down below. Charlie Intel, make sure you follow them on Twitter. Make sure you check them out. This is not a partnership with Charlie Intel in any way. It's just my source. This is who I go to for these things. Check it out. Again, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you want little updates like this all the time, be sure to hit a thumbs up. Sub to the channel if you're new. As always, it's been your boy Jay Tizzle. 
and I'm out. Peace.